What is up everybody, Sven Diesel here. We're going to be using a multi-loop tool to make an ice straggle bugger. Now that sounds pretty complicated, but basically we're going to be zoomed out. If you've never tied a woolly bugger, there's plenty of YouTube videos on it, but we're going to be showing how this new product from Swiss CDC, it's called the multi-loop tool, will be used to make a really, really sweet dubbing loop. Something I've been doing quite a bit of, but uh, this makes it a little bit easier. So we've got a stealth hook. This is an N6 in the vise. And we'll go ahead and start with some Simperfly. This is a 12 aught uh, wax thread. And we're going to start it uh, right here behind the bead. I'm just going to run some thread down the shank. And as mentioned, this is, uh, you could fast forward to where we actually use the tool to make this, but we're going to be making a woolly bugger, um, kind of like a Sven's leech, uh, but it uh, could be a bugger, or it could be a leech. But for that, we're gonna be using this Fish Hunter Marabou in fluorescent white. Uh, this is tied uh, for a particular lake I'm going to be fishing in the spring. And so I'm just going to grab one of these feathers uh, of marabou. I'm going to cut out the tip. You can see this is just a super, super fluffy piece. And then I always like to evaluate it to see how the uh, fibers are going to end up. And you can see we've got a little bit on the stringy side on this one. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab these uh, uh, go fly scissors here. I really like the weight of these and I'll just preen those uh, so that you know I'm not cutting it but just ripping it and then I'll measure it so it's roughly 1.25 the uh, length of the overall hook and so we'll go ahead and tie that in here at the rear and we'll use some nice securing wraps working our way up the uh, shank of the hook here and then before I cut it off I'm going to do about five wraps and then I'll hold it up trim it and then I will clean up this body now we're going to add a little bit of flash. For some reason, this lake I fish, it really loves these white and pink. Um, I could see this being effective at other places, but uh, white and pink seems to be a go-to for me and something I always take with me. So we're going to add a little bit of pink flash here. This is a super long strand. I'm going to fold it in uh, a fourth so that we get four strands uh, on each side. And then I'll just tie those in on my side and then we will uh, use about four wraps working our way backwards. And then I will do the flying V, hold it up and over and uh, tie it in on the opposing side. So uh, just a little hint of flash here. Uh, also gives a little bit of direction for the uh, tail to kind of, I wouldn't say restrict movement, but uh, this is a little bit stiffer. If you've got uh, crystal flash in pink or whatever your favorite go-to color is, you can go ahead and use that as well. Now we'll go ahead and tie that off and I'll trim the ends roughly the length of the uh, marabou tail and that looks pretty good. So now we're going to get into the part where we're going to be using the multi-loop tool and that's why we're zoomed out. So this tool is kind of fun. We're going to run our thread through the middle here and I found it to be effective to hold it straight up, hold it with my thumb and then insert it there and then I throw my bobbin over the vise, and then I can adjust the length of the tool. And I'm gonna, you can't see it, but uh, I'm basically making it so I got it about a half inch off my vise pedestal, and then I'll go ahead and secure that towards the back. Now the really cool thing about this tool is, it's open when it's perpendicular, but when it's weighted uh, so heavily on the end, it's going to naturally close if I, it slips out of my hand, or when I wanna close it, I just let the weight of gravity close it. So uh, for this, uh, the Sven's Leech, we use a Marabou um, blend. And all I'm going to do here is since we're using the Swiss CDC tools, so we got their multi-clamp here, and I'm going to basically grab this so that we, um, off the, the same Marabou we use for the tail, and I will trim it right here next to the stem. I like this because it provides a little bit of a slender body. You're not getting that thick stem in there uh, if you were to palmer it. And then all I'm going to do is pull this so it's perpendicular to the hook shank, insert this in and let the weight hold it. Release the clamp and bam. Now you can hook this in right here and the thing that always scares me is letting go of these tools but with it clamped in there I haven't lost any fibers yet. I'm going to hold my bobbin out of the way here and I'll just go ahead and spin it up. You can see that's spinning kind of crazy. I'm not the best at twisting it but I didn't lose any fibers and that's pretty much pretty amazing to me. Now Here's where this is gonna get cool, and I know Nature Spirit played around with some flash, they played around with some wire, but what I love to use is straggle string. And this is their new product from Semperfly. It's a little bit longer. It's called uh, a, a straggle, ice, ice straggle. And it's a longer fiber, like straggle string, so on some of my smaller bugs, I'll do the same here. 
with the straggle string, um, but I'm going to tie in a little strip here at the top. And I've done this before with other multi uh, or other uh, dubbing loop tools, and it just to start it, I have to pinch it in place and do a few wraps. Whereas with this, I pull it right down along the fiber. I'm going to hook it through, and then I'm going to wrap it around this little funky thing on the back, and then it, it's trapped. So then all I got to do, hold my bobbin out of place, give it a few spins, and it just basically saves me those first four or five turns, and it's nice and secure um, in with the, the dubbing loop. So I'm going to do a half hitch here, secure this, get my thread out of the way, and we'll bring around our uh, bobbin holder. And so that really just saves me a step of potentially losing that straggle string. Like I said, I've done it before with other dubbing tools, but it doesn't, I have to physically grab the, the straggle string or the, uh, the ice straggle in this uh, circumstance and rotate it four or five times and then let it spin. So I like that this holds it in place. It allows me to add other fibers. So now that the, my dubbing loop is uh, integrated with that uh, straggle ice, which is a little bit on the, the more durable side than just you know your potential thread dub loop, so that was a really cool feature. We tied it off, and let's go ahead and just finish this fly. I'm going to do about, uh, oh shoot, I'm going to build up a little bit of bulk here, make sure I've trapped it, and then we'll do a double three whip turn finish. So um, as I mentioned, this uh, doing this, I know that Nature's Spirit in their YouTube video on showing this uh, added wire. Um, I, they also added a flash for smaller bugs, but um, adding this uh, straggle string or uh, ice ice straggle is going to be key for buggers. I've been doing it, and this just makes it a little bit easier, a little bit uh, uh, cleaner on those first few wraps. And so I kind of really like that. I also like that when I throw the tool, spinning it, it doesn't come undone. So there we go. That is a ice straggle bugger, um, similar to a Sven's leech. And I, I just call it a bugger because it, I think that the ice chenille combined with that marabou is a little bit stiffer than your traditional leech. And it's going to add a little bit more profile. Perfect for bait fish imitation potentially or a leech. And uh, for some reason they just love white and pink. So that's what I'll throw. But that is the um, tool used on a bugger. So tie some up, fish them in your favorite color, and give the tool a try.